folks welcome back to part two of our detailed file setup and coloring tutorial for coloring comic books we're going to open Photoshop back up here and uh, I want to apologize for one error I noticed uh, as I closed out the last uh, video um, you see in our channels um, window over here there's still um, image inside of the original uh, channels and that's because when I was doing our fill earlier I neglected to change it from uh, multiply to normal it'll be in multiply later um, and I just finished up a, uh, another piece with it in there but when you start you're gonna start at normal so now when I use white change to blending mode normal and click OK it's gonna fill everything up with white um, what that's gonna do is it's gonna give us a uh, a cleaner image and then you notice if you turn off that black copy you've just got a white canvas to paint on and that's that's what we're looking for here is a clean canvas so I'm going to turn that black copy back on and now what we're going to do is just uh, simply called applying flats now this you can do in whatever way you're comfortable with um, but there are a couple of things that I would recommend to you uh, for one don't use a your paint bucket command um, and the wand tool. A lot of people do that filling up areas but that's going to be detrimental to what you're trying to do here if you're coloring for print. Um, and that's what we're doing here. If uh, again for web coloring uh, you know you can be a lot less careful with things but for print um, the print process is pretty complicated and it doesn't just lay everything down in one layer it lays colors down separately so you don't want blank space under your black so we're going to be using um, like the lasso tool, the paintbrush tool, the pencil tool those kind of things because it's going to give us a cleaner um, a cleaner image so uh, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to lay in just a nice generic background and this is the only point where I will actually um, differentiate between layers. Uh, for the background here I'm just going to choose a nice generic combination of the color. Okay, we'll just do like a, like a light blue to white kind of. Now I'm going to go change the paint bucket tool back to the gradient tool and I'm just going to apply that gradient of color although actually I want to leave it a little bit more color there so yeah there we go that'll work and uh, then I'm gonna now create a new layer to apply our character coloring on um, that'll be the only extra layer that I'm gonna use during this entire process now you'll notice as we zoom in here everything looks pretty tight um, so the not using our you know alias uh, our anti-alias setting is uh, is working just perfectly there. And for uh, starting to apply color, we're now going to start by using the lasso tool. Um, also, uh, one thing that's a a helpful thing if you don't use swatches, um, those can be really convenient. Um, I kind of keep most of my tools off uh, on another monitor while I'm working so I'll just kind of drag them in from time to time um, but what we're gonna do is when you use your swatches you're really safe on what colors you use because they're the the commonly used um, colors that you're that you're gonna find in the industry it kinda keeps you safe and you're always going back to the same thing uh, for this guy I think we're gonna use a let's see like a dark brown and what I'm gonna do is on this layer here I'm going to using the pencil tool make a dot of that color and I'm going to use this kind of red color here and then just a basic white and those are going to be the three main colors of the project here so I'm just going to leave them sitting there so I can reference back to them at any time um, and to start I'm going to start using the lasso tool. 
you can uh, again just go straight in with the brush if you want um, but I prefer using the lasso to start because it allows you to fill up pretty large areas very quickly so the first thing I'm going to do is sort of the base of his costume here um, you may notice that I'm not really worrying too much about sticking 100% to things right now that's because um, it's very easy to, to clean up small areas um, but it takes forever to um, to be careful about them um, so I'm just kinda winging it a little bit here so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fill these areas up so that's kinda his base costume color there I guess and uh, let's see now I'm gonna go back to lasso and I'm gonna choose his gloves here I think we'll leave the boots with a nice white stripe. Um, so that'll work. And so now I'm going to go back to my gray color here. And I'm going to fill that stuff up. Oh, I guess I didn't really give him a hair color. So I'm going to go over to my swatches and pick kind of a basic, nice brown kind of color. This is a pretty small area here, so I'm just going to go ahead and pencil this in. Uh, you notice I'm penciling instead of using the uh, paintbrush because the pencil just is, uh, is a nice sharp tool that's going to fill things in very cleanly. So I'm going to just, it's not going to leave any um, soft edges or anything. Again, I'm not being 100% careful because it's easier to go back and fix things than it is to be careful the entire time that you're coloring. Also, you just got to remember you're, you're putting down a lot of color originally and some colors are going to go over others. So, for example, on this hair right here by the cape, I can just kind of go outside the lines. Who really cares? Because I'm going to be coloring that cape in just a minute. So it doesn't really matter if I color onto that right now. So don't shoot yourself in the foot by being so careful to color inside the lines the entire time. Um, and that's going to help us right here when we're going to color his face. Now for coloring a face, uh, that's the one time I'm going to give you kind of a specific color to go by here. In your palette, in your CMYK here, what we're going to do is we're going to, for just a normal Caucasian here, we're going to stay with 0C. I'm going to go to 20M, 20Y, and 0K, and that is just kind of your good basic skin color for comic books. Um, again, I'm going to start with a small pencil tool here. Notice I'm correcting the error earlier. Just kind of laying those flats in. So, as to not make you guys sit through all of this, uh, I'm going to go ahead and close this up now. Again, we're just using the pencil tool and the lasso tool here. Uh, so, what I'm going to do is I'm going to off camera here finish putting these uh, these flats down, and then we'll come back with a completely flatted image and start working on the details. So, see you guys in just a few.